today we're going to tell you a story of Noah and the ark. This is probably the most a common of all Bible stories. Let's go back to the start because there was a man called Enoch and the Bible says Enoch walked with God. God was so pleased with his life that he walked with God. Every, all day long, day and night, he always thought about God and everywhere he went, God went with him. Enoch and his wife had a son called Methuselah and Methuselah became the oldest man ever to live and when he was born, he was named Methuselah and that meant when he is gone, judgment will come. That's a strange name for a baby. Methuselah lived until he was 969 years old. That meant he was the oldest man in the world. And the same year that Enoch's son Methuselah died, that's when God destroyed the world with a flood. And you might think, why did God destroy the world with a flood? Well, whenever God made man, human beings, God wanted us to worship him and every day to think about him, to pray to him. But people forgot about God. They completely forgot about God. In fact, the Bible says the world was completely filled with wickedness. Man was wicked with each other. They forgot about God. They ignored God. They lied to each other. They cheated on each other and they killed each other. And God looked down upon man and said, they forgot about me. It's my world. Therefore, I'm going to destroy it and start all over again. And God could do that. Enoch, Methuselah's father, he never even died. God translated him. In other words, he went straight to heaven without dying. Only two people has never died. One was Enoch and the other one was Elijah, which we'll tell you about him later on. But everyone else in this world who has been born has died. And that's important to realize that. But there was a man called Noah. And out of all the people in the world, God looked upon Noah and he was a righteous man. He was a good man who loved God with all of his heart. And God said to Noah, Noah, I want you to build an ark because I'm going to destroy the world. And anyone who doesn't want to be destroyed, who believes in me, needs to come into the ark to be rescued from this flood. So Noah began to build the ark and it took him 120 years to build the ark. And whenever people came by Noah, they said, Noah, what are you doing? And he says, I'm building an ark because God's going to destroy the flood, the world with the flood. And they all laughed at him. They said, Noah, it's never rained before in the world. You're cuckoo. You're crazy. Do you see if you talk about God today and tell people about the Lord Jesus, people think you're crazy. People think you're cuckoo. It's no different in Bible times as it is today. But you see God, Bible says, I am the Lord, I change not. God doesn't change. And Noah began to build the ark and eventually, after 120 years, the ark was finished. And God said to Noah, tell everyone they need to come into the ark or they'll be destroyed in the flood. Nobody believed him. Apart from eight people were saved in the flood. Noah, his wife, their three sons, Shem, Ham and Japha, and their wives. No one else believed. Everyone else stayed outside the ark. Then God said to Noah, bring two of each animal, male and female horse, male and female elephant, Male and female of every single animal, land animal, were brought into the ark. Then after that, Noah said, it's a final opportunity. Does anyone want to come into the flood, out of the flood into the ark? No one believed him. And in the ark, there was one door and God himself shut the door. So no one can ever open the door. And then nothing happened for seven days. And the people thought Noah was absolutely mad. He's in that ark with his family and those animals and it's not raining. He's mad. Then something happened. The clouds became dark. The air began to get cold. And suddenly it started to rain. Then the people realized something was happening. And before they knew it, the floods came, the rain came down and the floods came up. The water eventually began to get higher and higher till it came to their ankles, their knees, their waist. And suddenly the people ran up the trees. They ran up the mountains. They ran everywhere to escape from the flood. Then they went and they banged on the door. Noah, let us in. We're going to drown in the waters. Noah said, I can't open the door. Why not? Because God shut the door. I warned you again and again, and you never heeded the warning. For 40 days and for 40 nights, it rained and rained and rained, nonstop rain, until the entire world was covered with flood. Every person, every animal left on the earth drowned in the deep waters. In fact, there was so much force, the very seas opened up and the whole world was covered up. It was a massive flood. And you can still see evidence of the flood today when God destroyed the world with a flood. 
And do you know what happened? After it rained 40 days and 40 nights, it stopped raining. Then Noah had a raven bird. You can see the ark. And Noah had a raven bird and he sent it out the window. But it's a scavenger bird, it's a raven. And the raven never came back. It would eat the dead flesh on the sea. Then he sent out a dove and it came back. Then he sent it out again and it came back with an olive leaf plucked off. That meant the waters were going down and it got an olive leaf. Then he sent it out again and they never come back. Then bang, the ark landed on the mountain. And after all the waters receded and went away, he opened the door and all the animals went out and God told them again to multiply and replenish the earth. And then the first thing Noah and his family done was build a sacrifice. And they said, thank you God for saving our lives. Thank you God for keeping us alive. And then God told them to go and replenish the earth again. Up in the sky, God sent a big rainbow and that was a sign that God would never ever again destroy the world with a flood. Do you know what the ark reminds me of? The Lord Jesus. Because if you were inside that ark, you were saved and you were safe from the flood. Likewise, if when a person becomes a Christian, Christ saves them. He keeps them safe because he's always with them. He says, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. And most importantly, he saves us from our sin, not only to be with us in this earth, but to be with us forever in heaven one day. Wonderful story, Noah and the ark. And the lesson is simple. We should never, ever forget about God. The world today is full of wickedness again, but God promised he would never destroy it with a flood. But one day, the Lord Jesus is coming back again and the world will be destroyed, not with flood, but with fire this time. That's why it's so important to have the Lord Jesus in our lives, in our hearts, to have our sins forgiven. So when he comes back, we're ready to meet him and to be with him forever. Good story.